Good morning, Saturday, June 4th, 2022. Headed to the farmer's market. <clears throat> Oops, excuse me. I was just at the walk in freezer this morning to fill up the coolers of meat. Head off to the, the market, and I was switching out of my flip flops into proper shoes and had to put socks on as I swung my legs out to put my socks on. Something about that that image reminded me of my father, you could even picture grandfather, getting ready for the work day early in the morning, putting their socks on and then putting their work boots on. And it kind of created an image as much as a, a feeling of the previous generations and then kind of overlaid with myself personally and the current times that we're facing. This is gonna be a few different layers of ideas painted into a picture. So here I am engaging in my work day, right? If you can just kind of picture any quintessential image or sentiment of previous generations headed out to their work day in the very conventional sense. Maybe they're going to the factory, maybe they're going to construction, they're going out to the farm, you know, you got the white socks, the boots, or the cowboy boots. It kind of paints that, that image. And here I am engaging in that about to start my work day, but there's something different both about today and me personally. And that difference is the information that I've been diving into and learning. And I juxtapose myself to those that came before me in this same routine. And it's like, huh, I don't think they thought about this. I don't think they discovered this or learned about this. You know, I, I know my dad wasn't researching the occult in his mid-30s for obvious reasons. He never told me about it. And it... It makes me wonder, and this goes back to uh, a video I posted recently, it makes me wonder to what degree the information was available. And that other video was, you know, is the internet our greatest tool? And I think it certainly, certainly could be argued as such. And then this also brings in this other concept um, that I call the, the new friend car um, syndrome or explanation and don't worry I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this all together and that that's when uh, your friend gets a new car and you've never paid attention to this kind of car before but suddenly because your friend has it you start to see them everywhere you know because you want to you want to wait for them while you're driving by and you're like huh that's interesting because I never noticed these before but there's no way that just because my friend got it that a bunch of other people got it. It must be that because I am aware of it, I am now noticing it more around me. And we have that misconception in our lives when we learn something. And this refers to other videos I've made of are we really waking up? Because as one person wakes up, they start to think that a lot of other people are. And I actually prefer to use the word activated to refer to a more um, active type of waking up where waking up could just be learning information but we'll use that term as a placeholder for now so we're in this very unique time where people seem to be waking up and I've made the argument with other people that perhaps there really aren't that many people waking up it's just that when you do you tend to find those that are because now you are aware of it within yourself just like that new car uh, scenario with your friend. It's not that everyone else went out and got that car. It's that you're starting to notice it because it was brought to your attention. So here we are as I'm putting on my socks and shoes to go into the freezer and thinking about the generations that came before me and thinking about the information that I've been discovering and learning and now trying to share with you all here on this platform. And I know without any false humility to a degree that I'm special. We are all special, we are all unique. But to the extent and intensity 
that I've been diving into the occult, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the most important information one can come to learn, considering the implications um, of what the information is, which is the totality of truth, and there's nothing more important, more sacred, and more intentionally hidden, by definition, than the occult and the truth of our reality. And so this makes for a very interesting situation, and it begs the question of why, right? On a personal level, to what degree am I more unique than others that are unwilling or unable to wake up, or to a greater degree, to activate their inner essence, to actually transmute the information into something of discernible actions. And so here I am as one individual among many, although I still believe a relatively small amount, that are activating, which would suggest that now really is an important time. And as I dive deeper into um, my newest resource, which is the Composition Works of Lisa Renee, she is the one credited with uh, creating the Ascension Glossary and diving into her newsletter podcast called Energetic Synthesis. It's starting to bring all the pieces together regarding our, uh, what I've called, our cosmic history that explains what has transpired and the truth of our history here on Earth and what preceded our existence as humans on this planet in previous dimensional uh, realms on 5D Tara, 7D Gaia, and a bunch of other ideas that are certainly going to lose you, if not just in the specificity of what happened, but in the general concepts. You know, we're talking, we're talking that far out stuff of whether you want to call them extraterrestrials, ultra terrestrials, other entities, uh, species, etc that exist and not only are playing a part but have been very much involved in our modern day and historical enslavement. You might say, okay, whatever, what's the point? This is all fine and well, but, you know, what are you getting at? And the big point is, the more I learn about our reality and the truth that surrounds us, the more apparent it becomes that now really is a very significant time in regards to what's transpiring behind the scenes in the invisible and the most recent events regarding the uh, COVID pandemic sit as a very important uh, trigger event in order to continue to perpetuate the agenda of the, uh, the parasites that surround us. And these parasites exist in a very real way, both in our daily interactions in the visible world and also to a much greater extent in the invisible world. And as we see these things unfolding now on a global scale in, uh, not in terms, but in a scope much bigger than anything that's ever happened, at least in our generally accepted um, modern history, you know, 9-11 was the last major trigger event that was more localized in terms of the United States and then the fallout from that with the policies we enacted and the, uh, the Middle Eastern conflicts that we stirred up. But this is now happening on a global scale, which suggests that this is very significant timing in either those um, evil parasitic factions feel that they have the upper hand or that this is a changing of the guard that they are feeling that their own backs are against the wall and they're pulling out all the stops and this is culminating into a very important moment for us here on this planet to regain uh, take back our birthright as humans on this planet earth and to reclaim the very freedom that uh, so very few of us seem to be waking up to the notion that is being, you know, pulled out from underneath us. And even if it is not 
immediately apparent in the physical, you know, kind of change and bondage way. Our minds have been enslaved for such a long time that most people can't even see that that is what's happening. And so as I <clears throat> was putting my socks on, socks and shoes to get the workday started, there's something much bigger than just the day-to-day -day activities that must be attended to that any of us, any of those of you out there that are waking up and beginning to activate your inner soul spark to the truth of what is transpiring, there's much work to be done and it is incumbent upon us to take up this task and proceed with great strength and fortitude so that we may come to eradicate this, this parasite that has infected the minds of so many people. And that parasite is this um, delusion of what is actually happening and that ultimately we need to bring the, the light of truth into this world. And I'm not talking that about that in some Abrahamic uh, religious sort of way, but very real explanations of... Uh, of what's happening here, who's perpetuating it, who's perpetrating it, and what our role is in this great fight. And so I leave you, <clears throat> at least with the, the, the call to action to continue to pursue truth, do your research, look up the resources I've been referring to so that you can gain a deeper understanding of what is happening in our cosmic history, who we are, what we are, um, what our potential is as humans and what great promise we have if we could merely cease the infighting and align our strength against those that are actually conspiring against us.